Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Slay the Spire. I know we literally just won one as the silent, but I want to play the silent again and I want to see if I can actually build a honest to goodness poison deck. I want a good poison deck. This is the same setup that you gave me last time that I got a setup. Choose a card to obtain. Max HP plus seven. What if I what if I choose this card to obtain and then I just don't like any of them, huh? What about that? Huh? Let's choose a card to obtain. I kind of like outmaneuver. I mean it worked out it worked out pretty alright on the previous run. But Well, that was a waste. I should have gotten the HP. I should have went with my gut and got the health. But no. I had to ruin it. Soiled it! Soiled it! Soiled it! It's my SpongeBob impression. Let's, um... Let's go up to this, through this route. And we have a slaver thing. Yeah, it, actually, it is a slaver. I got that right. Hmm. All right, just open up with a couple strikes. We're going to be conservative here. I mean, it's... <laughs> like, on one hand, you want to be a little aggressive, but on the other hand, you don't want to die on the first floor again, right? Not the first floor, but the first... Uh, uh, what's the correct word? The first level? Yeah, because I died on the first level like two runs ago. I'm sure you were there. I'm sure you saw it. I don't want that to ever happen again. All right, looks like our choice was made for us. Defend it all. I'm excited to see how our build ends up. I really do want to build a poison deck if I if I can. We're going to take 2 damage here. But hopefully we get 3 strikes in the next hand. We're getting okay, 2 strikes and a neutralize. That should work. Actually, it won't. However, we're not taking damage, so... Whatever damage we draw here, we'll kill this guy. So let's go. Let's kill the slaver. It's, pick it's actually taking way too long to kill this initial slaver. Ironclad would have done it, like, in turn two. I said I wanted poison. It's not the best poison in the world. I would prefer in Venom. It's got a lot more versatility with it. However, this should work just fine. Uh, do I care to take three damage? I don't remember what all this Jawworm is capable of. Does he strengthen himself? He blocks. But we're already we're already looking good. Uh, he does strengthen himself, but he also guarded too, which sucks. Weakened wears off. He's guarding again? Um I'll block. And I'll do a little more damage to him. I don't appreciate you blocking again. Five? Oh, come on. I, I need to do five damage here. And it looks like I got it? Yeah, did it. Nice. So I'm glad I grabbed that deadly poison instead of the dagger throw. Taking the backflip. Yeah, we're going to go this way. That was a pretty terrible question, Mark. Are you kidding me right now? How cruel. How could you do such a thing? <laughs> my opening hand. That was my opening hand. 
That was the worst opening hand I've seen in a long time. Do one block here. Uh, we can't let this go on for very long. Because he's going to gain three strength every single turn. That's that's bad. That's pretty bad. This, oh, this neutralize. Get a backflip. Hope for another... Are you kidding me? Seriously? This game is already trying my patience. I believe... Like, we should get plenty of strikes here on this next turn to just destroy him, though. So, look at this. Look at that. Still. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> There's that piercing whale. Hmm... Masterful Stab would actually be cre uh, great if I have a cycle deck. Mm, deal 8 damage. Next turn, gain an energy. I'm going to take it. Front load a little bit of versatility. Please give me some poison. I want to build that poison deck. I do. I, pro I really do. I just want to build it. Neutralize? No neutralize. I guess I'll take damage. It's only two damage, so it's not bad. That guy's gonna grow. Oh, I have a lot of energy this turn, too. So I can... I can get this guy weakened. So now this guy's going to build himself up. Alright, this was a... This is a good... This is a good spread. So we should be able to kill him next turn, no problem. As long as we draw two attacks. I mean, we could just... I feel like we have a lot of defense. However, we drew what we needed. That's, that's good. Catalyst. Double of enemies, poison, and exhaust. I want this. I want the terror. Catalyst could be great. Could be. Could also be very not great. Honestly, I feel like we kill the slime first. Let's do a backflip. All right, flying knee's good. I was kind of hoping for terror, but I would have put it on the jaw worm instead of the slime. I want to kill the slime because he's going to lick me and make me frail and going to make my guard suck. <clears throat> okay, we can strike this guy down. And almost block everything from this guy. We're gonna get our terror here. Frail is gone. But we can block it all and we can probably unload next turn. We're probably gonna have to unload next turn. Uh, maybe not have to, but... Man, Terror is such a nice card to have. I wonder what the upgraded version does. Flying Knee coming up. So we'll backflip into the Flying Knee. And we got to neutralize out of it. T 
Terror is so nice. Doppelganger, huh? Dun 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 dun. And it exhausts. Let's take it. It sounds interesting. Oh, good, my favorite. Let's go ahead and hit him with a neutralize. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and use this energy potion. I'm going to hit him with a flying knee, deadly poison, a strike, and then doppelganger for two. What is that? Three additional energy next turn. I'm going to draw two extra. I'm hoping it's a handful of attacks because I don't want this guy to hurt me too much. 14 damage coming. I hate you so much. Look at this handful of defense. I have to do this. He's still poisoned. Do I dare do this right now? Yes, I do. I hate fighting this guy on the silent. He hits so hard. But I think I... Don't got him. Yeah, I don't want to take that damage. Mercury Hourglass. Okay, we got that again. We get another Deadly Poison? Do I want another Deadly Poison? I don't think I want any of this. We're going to skip it. And what is our upgraded... What does Upgraded Terror do? It costs zero. This, X plus one. Still exhaust, right? Yeah. Neutralize is always a good choice, but Doppelganger, I think, is the better choice, because I can use this with zero and still get a benefit out of it. So that's going to be interesting. All right. I want to go to the Merchant. So I can get rid of a card. Well, kind of wish I had that explosive potion now. Oh! That helps. Uh. <laughs> Got him. I'll just defend everything here. No point in taking more damage than I need to. We have one more energy coming up next turn, so that's going to help us out. Plus, this Mercury Hourglass is super useful against these guys. Uh, I don't care what that debuff is. Too bad I didn't have another strike. I mean, if I just had four strikes, that would have been fine. But no. There you go. And we got a potion for... Ooh, a heal hook. Infinite blades, though. I don't have a good means for a heal hook right now. Strawberry. 
Lame. You duck inside a small hut. You find what appears to be a forge. The smithing tools are covered with dust, yet a fire roars inside the furnace. You feel on edge. Become cursed normality? You cannot play more than three cards per turn. Seventy-five percent. I'm gonna go for the twenty-five percent and hope that I don't get cursed. Upgrade the neutralize. You decided to put the forge to use and clang, 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 improve your arsenal. Ah, I hate you! Why? Ah. Sadistic nature would be cool. Freaking waste of my money. Salty, salty, salty. Salty, salty, salty. Salty, salty, salty. Oh well. I knew what I was getting myself into. Alright, we have eight damage coming our way. We'll start with a survivor. Drop a defend. And... I'll go ahead and kill this one first. Hmm. So I'm definitely going to be taking some damage in this fight. This is such a hard little battle for this character. So we can kill one. And block 10. We're still going to take 6. Terror is going to be mostly useless. Doppelganger is going to be somewhat useful. And we have a strike. I need the defense, so... Alright. <clears throat> it's going to be 8 damage. Do I want to draw 2 extra next turn? I guess there's no reason to not attack. So we'll just doppelganger. It, imagine if I get the, the spoon bendy item. The thing that lets my exhaust cards not exhaust all the time. That'd be that'd be kind of silly. Alright, let's get rid of this wound. Six damage. We'll just let it die on the next turn. Throw up another, another defend, because I have the energy. Okay. Alright. Did I, I played like my whole hand. But I guess because I discarded a wound, it's kind of cheating. Just a little bit. Man. What a waste of an extra energy. Well, oh, really? We might not... Oh yeah, Shiv. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here! Hate those things. Bottled lightning. Choose a skill card. At the start of each combat, this card will be in your hand. Probably terror. So if I can start with that, that'd be great. Ooh, there it is! Noxious fumes! Cloak and dagger is also pretty good. But noxious fumes, man. That's what I've been hoping for. Seriously? I don't like you. OK, 
Gonna naturalize this guy. Terror this guy. And then survivor up. Gonna be weakened and frail, probably. Oh, it's a wound. Okay. Noxious fumes. It's very unfortunate. All right, let's block up. Now, if I can get toxicology on top of this noxious fumes and venomology as well, uh, we can uh, we can start we can start chugging along. All right, we got deadly poison. This guy's gonna take two. Okay, I definitely want to double block here. So, what's the best way to deal with this guy? He's effectively at seven. So it's gonna be a strike and a shiv. And I know I said those in the opposite order. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, poison is more useful at the moment, even with the vulnerability. So we blocked most of it. I think the real question is, coming up, when I fight the boss, do I heal? I'm at, I'm at below half health, and I'm about to take more. Or, no, I'm not. I have 20 cards. I haven't had much of an opportunity to remove cards. I want to build a poison deck. Sucker Punch is nice, but I want poison. Enlightenment? That could be good. Noxious fumes. Bandages. That makes survival, uh, or survivor really, really good. What is this fan? Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Hmm. Oh, well, we will remove a card. <clears throat> We'll remove a strike. And then we will leave. Save our money for the next floor. Let's go aggressive. You know how I like to go aggressive. Upgrade Noxious Fumes, or we upgrade Terror. Terror costs zero, but Terror is only a one. Energy Investment. I think Noxious Fumes is better. Actually, oh, I've already upgraded and neutralized. We'll do Noxious Fumes. <coughs> All right. All right, glad I have the poison now. Also, we have a weakened potion if it comes down to it. It's charging up. I ain't having any of that, bro. Um, I'll go ahead and, yeah, we'll strike and then we'll doppelganger for one. I guess doppelganger plus for zero if I want to be more correct with my words. 
Alright, here's our noxious fumes. I'll gain the block. for the risk here. I mean, I could take three more damage and then take five damage. Ow. Oh, I don't like the shift going into my discard pile. But I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Twelve damage coming at us. Ooh, and I can I can use both of these and not take damage still. So that is good. And he gets up with that twin slam. It's about to deal twenty damage to us. Probably dig into a neutralize? No, no such luck. We have more energy coming up next turn. It's only gonna do nine damage. All right, so I'll defend here. He's gonna try charging up but I'm not going to give him a chance. Looks like I'm going to have to backflip into some more cards. Are you kidding me? Can you... Stop doing this to me? I mean, come on. I guess I gotta get rid of my defense. Like, I'm being so oversaturated with those. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like, now I don't even feel safe to use a flying knee, even though it's a good idea to. But we'll do it anyway. I'll leave a shiv again. Okay. He's got 16 damage coming at us. Got more poison on him. So 16. This should kill him. Just to make sure. There we go. A little bit of paranoia. I know it was completely green. I just didn't want to take any chances. Another doppelganger? Fant I've never taken Phantasmal Killer. Like, I could see it being... I can see it comboing very well, but it's... It's an investment that I'm not too keen on. So we'll skip all those cards. What do we get? White Beast Statue. Tiny House. And an Orrery. Uh... I don't want to obtain a card. I'll take the white beast statue. So now we're gonna have to actively use our potions, which is not a bad thing. Not at all. Oh boy. Um, I can either go to a merchant or I can go to elites. And I think I'd rather go to the elites we have a, a mystery train here. Oh, no. <clears throat> well. I 
This will be interesting. Infinite Blades. I would have liked to use Flying Knee. Hmm. Let's get rid of the Shiv. We will Survivor. And then... We will Doppelganger for two. And what I'm hoping for is to draw into Neutralize and also draw into my Deadly Poison again. No, <laughs> it happened. So we do that. We do that. We do this and we def Bend the crap out of this and still take damage because Frail is overpowered. Only seven damage this time. Stupid frail. It's so ridiculous. It's so strong. 15 damage coming again. And that is the kill. But just in case. Get that paranoia. Those paranoia plays. Blade dance. No. No, no, no. Dodge and roll plus. I'm not going to see a merchant anytime soon. I would like dodge and roll plus. But we're going to skip it. Hmm. Do we remove? Or do we upgrade? I would really like to remove some cards. And the defense need to go. But there is a good argument to be made for upgrading all my defense and strikes, which I probably should have done. All right, 75 gold to remove a card from my deck. Hey. It's Cleric. Hi, Cleric. Nice to see you. Drop another defend. Now what's next? Uh, you approach a gremlin shuffling mad madly at the table. 12 cards. Match them to keep them five tries. Oh, no. Huh? Uh-oh. Okay. Cloak and daggers. I did just remove two defends. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with the poison stab, I think. I think. We'll see how it shakes out. I'm so glad I have the hourglass for these things. Hmm. Let's defend all this. Let's do this. Let's 
do this. I'm gonna want to focus on this guy because he's gonna he's gonna do ten damage if he chooses to attack. He's doing twelve. That's not cool, man. I can knock this guy down. Okay. Um, well, Survivor, the deadly poison away. Infinite Blades. My reasoning is, I know the Noxious Fumes will do unmitigated damage to everybody. However, the Shiv gives me more opportunity to stun these stupid little things. Good instincts. So he's at four. I'll go ahead and use that, because it's free. Um, hmm. <laughs> Deadly poison this guy. We'll also poison stab him. I believe I'll also shiv him so I can knock him down. That uh, didn't knock him down? Oh, because the deadly poison doesn't knock down. Alright, so that'll knock him down. And then we'll do this. Alright, and we should have... We should wipe them on the next turn. At least once I end my turn and they take poison damage. Because, thank you, Mercury Hourglass. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, that didn't kill him? Dang. Oh well! He dies anyway from poison. I just wanted to kill him myself, you know? Accuracy. Shivs deal three additional damage. Okay, if I go to upgrade, what would I want to upgrade? Ooh, what is what does an upgraded accuracy do? So we'll go this way. We'll upgrade uh, cloak and dagger. Ooh, gives you two shivs and accuracy, five additional damage. So shivs become better than a baseline strike. Confirm. Let's do it. Oh no. Here, have some terror. And some noxious fumes. And a poison stab. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Doppelganger's gonna go away. Wait, no it's not. Here's what we do, we infinite blades. We doppelgang. We neutralize. I didn't realize he had skill burn on me. Crap! We just lost our survivor. This book is gonna stab me to death! Good thing I have good instincts. Please not the shiv. No! I... Uh. This elite is so freaking strong. I hate him. I hate him. He's gonna kill me. Alright, he's gonna be up to 18 poison damage. Weakened this time, and frail. Alright, so he's not actually going to attack me this time. And he's dead. Oh, thank god. I have to rest at a campfire now, I can't upgrade. <laughs> Ooh, in the Tori, whenever you would receive five or less unblocked or unblocked attack damage, reduce it to one. So that'll be handy. Skip the dash as much as I like it. I'm screwed. Okay. Uh, okay. Um I'm gonna back lip into hopefully some cards. Infinite blade is useful. Too bad the strength potion is now gone. Okay, we'll shiv. Flying knee for the kill. Dropping Noxious Fumes, Survivor, and then Doppelganger. So we have two energy, two extra energy coming up next turn, which will be handy because of this frailty garbage and him doing 20 damage. So we'll clear his negation. Neutralize. Use the rest of our energy to power up. Gonna take a big hit. We're gonna have to skip the next elite. Which, of course, makes me real sad.
It's been a long time since I've felt this powerless on this character. My shivs are hitting like a truck, though. It's pretty funny. God, that guy hurts. Regeneration potion. Good. Good. I don't have much discard, so underhanded, underhanded strike's not going to be worth it. A discard deck would be fun, too. Like dagger throw and survivor and underhanded strike and tactician and stuff like that. I'll take it. I'll regret it probably, but I'll take it. Meat on the bone. If your HP is at less than 50% at the end of combat, heal 12 HP. It doesn't help me in combat though. Also, I can either choose to go to this merchant or I can choose to go to this campfire. But I'm... Okay, so if I go to this elite, what can it be on this floor? It can be the head. Oh, if, even if it's the head, I'm dead. As you attempt to sneak past. Alright. Or a calcum. That's... I'm going to the merchant. Because we, we can ride a mystery train up there. We just have to survive this fight. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's try to survive. I think I'm gonna die here, but we can try. We can try our best. Our best is probably not gonna be quite good enough because we're gonna take five damage here. Oh, I forgot about that. The Tori. It's going to help us quite a bit. Go, go, dagger spray. Um, Backflip. And then... Survivor. Defend can go away. We'll grab infinite blades, because we have accuracy going. And then we will... hurt him. So we should be able to kill that one next turn. It's possible we can kill... Both of them. We can. Oh my goodness. And we're going to heal as well because of the meat on the bone. All right, good. This doesn't seem like a very good card. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out when this would be good. Well, I don't know. Enemy loses 3 HP. And it does 12 damage. So it basically does 2 strikes worth at its base. Which is already on its own kind of worth it. 
and it only takes up one card instead of two. But if you have four energy, you can deal another six damage, which is a, which is a third strike's worth. And if you have shivs, that's another three HP, which, okay, so that would be a very nice card to have in those circumstances. Problem is finding those circumstances. All right. All right, we got the confusion coming up. Spooky Sneko. Perplexing glare. What do you? What kind of crazy stuff are you gonna do to me this time, huh? Free accuracy. I'll take it. All right, we're gonna take a full six damage here, but this will put us underneath our fifty percent for the meat on the bone to, to trigger. This is bull crap. Go for the free strike. This is bull crap. What a terrible hand. What a terrible set of confuse, confusion hand. Dude, screw you! What even is this? What is this?! Dude, can you not? I mean, for real. What do you want me to do? Infinite Blades is the obvious choice, I think. Maybe not so obvious. Infinite Blades, I think, is the best choice. Because it's going to give me for sure free attacks. Because that's not going to be changed because I don't draw them. Get out of here. Stupid, stupid Sneko. I'll take prepared. Are you serious? <laughs> Again! I need to throw this. Great. I hate it when I don't get extra energy at the beginning of the first floor. I hate it. Alright, doppelganger. Poison strike and doppelganger for one. I'm gonna die here, I think. Luckily, I have a lot of energy this round. But the frailty makes it rough, and I'm frail for two turns. But he's debuffing again. He's at 17, no, 14, 13, 9, 
Yeah, I should have this. Cloak and dagger. That kills him. All right, cool. Ugh. I don't know how I'm going to handle the third floor. There's that spoon. Every three times you shuffle your deck, gain two energy. This deck is not the right deck for that. Oh, this is removal, not upgrade. Bye bye, strike. So that cost me what, 175? And I feel like I need to rest, so let's do that. Alright, he's about to summon some fools. We'll drink this. Hit him with that and that. Let's doppelganger. For the next turn. Doppelganger really hasn't been doing very well for us. I swear it's constantly grabbing stuff that I don't really care to have. Infinite blades. Mm-hmm. 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 Backflip. Mm-hmm. Cloak and dagger. Mm-hmm. Prepared? Well, alright. That's alright. Survivor away the deadly poison. 18, 31 total damage coming towards me. And the Tori's not gonna lower it, because this does six instead of five. Okay, good instincts. Cloak and dagger. Dagger spray's a nice grab. That guy's dead. This guy's dead. This guy's dead. That was a nice turn. My AoE is stronger than I thought it was. He has strength, but he can't. He doesn't summon any more torch heads. Either that, or he summons them only one at a time now. Hmm. Not gonna need the backflip. <laughs> Shiv went through twelve block. Imagine if I had the kunai too. Except not the kunai, the shuriken. But still not gonna be as good as that one time. I don't think I'm gonna have a run that good for a long time. The one where I was constantly cycling through and drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing. That's not gonna ha what? I swear that always confuses me. So he's gonna summon now, which wastes one of these turns, which makes me happy. We can weaken him. And uh, waste some energy. Too bad I don't have the ice cream cone. Imagine the ice cream cone with doppelganger. Good instincts. Backflip. Defend. Dagger spray. Shiv. Weak old Shiv. It's 
So we almost killed that thing. It will die at the beginning of my next turn. Probably shouldn't have shivved him then. Now that I'm thinking about it. It's kind of a waste. Ooh, cloak and dagger. It's at least better than a than a block, because it gives me a shiv to continue attacking with. Cloak and dagger with accuracy is amazing. Alright, no longer frail. Um, they're both low enough to where I'm feeling pretty confident. I can play this whole hand. So he's at three. It's gonna be three plus four is seven plus another three. Oh man. He's gonna be down to one HP if I don't do anything. Fine. So we'll let him die with the poison. I, he was going to be down to 1 HP. 3 from the hourglass, 3 from the poison, and then 4 from the next poison. Which, as you can guess, isn't the best situation. There's the dagger spray. Stronger than a strike, and he's dead. Nice! There it is, in Venom! Okay, now I'm seeing where Storm of Steel could be useful. I want the energy. I really, really want it. However, it's going to be super risky. There's two shops at the beginning and then another shop up there. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford it with either of these. But you know what? We're going to have to find that out on the next episode. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye.